I want to thank you all for, for coming out today for what uh, is going to be a, a great thought-provoking and uh, inspiring dialogue about mountaintop removal. Um, we have celebrated activist and environmentalist Dave Cooper from Lexington, Kentucky. And uh, Dave worked for 20 years as a mechanical engineer. Um, he worked for 3M, which is a company some of you may be familiar with, fairly pro-environmental, has done a number of things to improve their their environmental track record uh, amongst the company. Um, most famed for their post-it notes, which uh, many of you in the business and college world are very familiar with. Um, he quit his job shortly after visiting a mountaintop removal mine in Caperd Mountain, West Virginia. Um, he's a member of the Sierra Club and Kentuckians for the Commonwealth and worked for a year as a cold field organizer in the Ohio Valley Environmental Coalition. He's currently on a national speaking tour um, to bring attention and educate people about the, the I want to use the word horrors of mountaintop removal. Um, so we want to give a warm welcome to, to Mr. Cooper and hopefully his, his dialogue and, and engaging discussion today um, will be one that inspires and uplifts the audience to not only be a continued vocal and, and adamant supporter of environmental justice, but also take the necessary steps um, in your community and, uh, and throughout the region to not only end mountaintop removal, but some of the other issues that we face as a, as a global uh, citizenship. Um, in Worcester locally, there's a number of things that some of you are very familiar with happening. Um, we're, we're very pleased to have uh, passed in the City Council a climate action plan which sets out target reductions of greenhouse gases by 20% um, by 2010. The City just recently made an announcement that they'll be purchasing $20,000 worth of renewable energy from um, solar and wind. And in addition to that, um, they, they're improving their recycling infrastructure and looking at um, looking at hiring an energy manager to focus on these issues on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we also have a number of people from the college community visiting with us today, and we're very pleased to, um, to share with the community that the colleges have been strong supporters and vocal advocates of local environmental issues. Clark, Holy Cross, Quinsigamon, Worcester State College have all been leaders in, in promoting renewable energy on their campuses educating their students about how to be better stewards of the environment, and, and really engaging in, in community dialogues such as what we have here today with Mr. Cooper. So with that, I want to I wanna give a warm Worcester welcome to Mr. Cooper, and hopefully uh, it'll be a great presentation. Thank you.